Nebraska set to kick away. Adi Kanalik teed up at the 30-yard line, and we are underway into a brisk win. And this ball falls shy of the 10-yard line. Spiller up the middle, finds a hold at the 35-40, and Spiller. As we check the starting lineups, the quarterback for Clemson, Cullen Harper, will play his final game as a Clemson Tiger. Offensive line, it's a big story, hit hard by injuries. The center, Bobby Hutchinson, was a student assistant when the season started, came out of retirement to help out. And Aaron Kelly and Jacoby Ford are threats on the outside. Kelly has the height. Now they're going to switch it again. They talked about it, let's go for it. Direct snap, Spiller, in round, they're going to go to Harper, rolling, rolling, looking downfield for the long ball, tied up incomplete. James Davis, the Huskers up front defensively, Allen Steinkuhler, Sue and Potter, they've totaled 16 and a half sacks. How about the linebackers? Well, they've suffered some injuries, but senior Tyler Workman plays on. And the secondary is led by strong safety Larry Asante with 64 tackles on the season. Second down, 10 from the shotgun. Harper rolls out, chase, chase, down to the pocket and throws incomplete. We'll see Harper in shotgun most of the afternoon. Third down at 10. First minute here in the opening quarter. And the Gator goal, again, flush out of the pocket, throws over the middle, it's caught. Jacoby Ford breaks away and is caught at midfield, short. And back to receive is Swift at his own 10-yard line. Good kick, win behind him. Swift's going to let this ball bounce into the end zone. Touchback at the 20-yard line. Senior from Palos Heights, Illinois. And look at the career numbers. Nearly 5,000 yards passing. 30 points or more in 15 of their last 17 games. They score a lot of points. Option. And Clemson and Nebraska. Anchored by the right guard, Matt Slauson. Slauson makes his 35th career start today. We talk about Swift and Peterson. They catch a lot of footballs from Gans. Swift owns 21 career touchdowns. Gans goes shotgun. Throws a slant across the middle. It's dropped incomplete at the 25. -year. Clemson Tigers on the defensive front. Darrell Scott, the lone senior for the Tigers. Linebackers, watch out. Always on the football, Cavell Connor. Averages over nine tackles a game. And guys, the secondary is one of the best in the country, led by the all-ACC catback, Michael Hamlin, with six interceptions. And so Gans is going to be tested throwing the ball today. Clemson showing blitz. By the way, Nebraska has scored only one time this season on their opening possession. It was against Missouri, a touchdown. Gans on the rollout. was caught around the shoot by the tight end, McNeil. Is set to return. Good snap, line drive, boot on the way. Drives Spiller back inside his own 35-yard line. Stops and goes at the 30. Pops to the 35. 40! Oh, a terrific return. And Clemson starts his second drive at the 41-yard line. Chad Deal, the fullback, goes in motion. Up the middle goes Davis. Nebraska defense does not substitute a lot. That's an area Coach Dabo Sweeney really wants to take advantage of. Four wide receiver set, three set to the near side. Again, they have Dr. Davis. It's a fumble on the ground, but recovered at the 40-yard line. We tried to knock on wood, not to jinx him, but fortunately his own teammate recovered the ball. Yeah, Mason Cloy covered up in the pocket, fires a dart, incomplete. Underneath coverage, pretty much wide open, could have easily picked up the first down. Maynard's first, first punt went 50 yards, good high hanger. And a take and then drop, Nate Swift. Hello, Jr. The ball carrier taken back. On the defensive side, 37 sacks. He was a good all player. And Bumper, boy, nothing doing. Four wide receivers set for Gans. Three loaded up near side. From the shotgun, low snap, Gans. Pedals back, good protection, up over the top. He goes! Oh, what a catch! At the 45-yard line, Todd Peterson. Peterson get up there and make that catch. Really shouldn't have been completed, in my opinion. Oh. Incomplete. Incomplete. What a smack down at the 39-yard line. Oh. That's interference. He hit him before the ball got there. But it's not on the line of scrimmage. Totally legal. Definitely did. 
Second down at 10. Jump up front. No call again. Switches things up at the line. Kelly finally with some positive yards after taking that shot back. Uh, replacing a pretty good running back in Marlon Lucky. Over 100 yards three straight times. Gans flush out of the pocket. Incomplete. 43 yards. Low snap. And a good boot. Into the end. Drives back to Kelly. Forward! Up again, ties it in the corner, and runs out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Spiller, the junior from Lake Butler, Florida. Just down the road from Jacksonville. Setting up, and he goes. Harper at the one-yard line. And saved 13 sacks a year ago by Nebraska. That was number 31. Clemson trying to run out of the end zone. C.J. Spiller, maybe a yard. 6.48, clock running. Third down and 17, quick hitter across the middle, the slant, Ford breaks it, watch out, 30, at the 40, and Jacoby Ford with that terrific breakaway speed. His hands with open field, it will scare the heck out of you if you're a Nebraska defensive player. Ford's 60 meter time is 6.52, ball is tipped and dropped, and nearly picked off. That was a big play for Clemson. Mike Palmer, the tight end in motion, swinging out far side, it's grabbed by Ford. And is bumped out of bounds. Nebraska gives up over 235 yards a game through the air on the defensive side. Shotgun. Harper sets the feet, throws across the middle. Fairberg, number 83, the senior drive, stays alive thanks to that 46-yard grab by Jacoby Ford. That pass covered eight. There's a pump, a throw, and a slant. Incomplete across the middle. Tet, senior out of Birmingham, Alabama. 5.25 to play, opening quarter, set up the screen, far side is caught, Nebraska, not fooled, shotgun, Harper, long snap count, two-step drop, fires a strike, and is caught, lean out, trying to grab another yard or two is Kelly, a quick deal now, right behind Harper, Palmer in motion, a tight end, they're going to go with the Legs of James Davis. Didn't get it. And he's going to be short by a football. 15 games have they been on the short end of the stick as far as that goes. On first down play action, Gans has uh, the ability to break a pocket down. Jaquan Powers is an impressive looking athlete. The way he closed down and made that tackle. Play action. Set up a screen. Middle screen. And it's cut by Marlon Lucky. First and ten, Nebraska at the 41-yard line. Play action rolling out. Up top goes Gantz, and that ball flutters. So far, rolling out Gantz. Pressure from the backside. Gantz steps up, fires incomplete. At their own 41-yard line. Shotgun, Joe Gantz. Pedals back, sets up the screen. Caught, lucky. Stick on his way around the corner and has bumped out of bounds. Split second, it's impressive to watch. Dixner, another fine kick into the wind. Spiller at the 19. Spiller stops and goes. Stops and goes again at the 20. In trouble, breaks the tackle. Trying to turn the big corner at the 25. To the 30. To the 40. Spiller, 45. Spiller at the 50. Can you believe that return? <laughs> But not surprising his teammates they know what he's capable of they keep flying around trying to make blocks for him 38-yard punt and a 33-yard return right up the middle goes davis so they come back with thunder sure does a minute to play opening quarter no score but back and forth we go this time nebraska wraps up davis third down and short Davis alone back, there's pressure and... Snap, offside, defense number 43, five-yard penalty results in a first down. As far as the physical battle up front, Steinkuhl is very quick and explosive off the ball, a little too early that time. Clemson spreads the offense, handoff Davis, breaks the tackle. To the 23-yard line, that ends the quarter. And Clemson is on the move. Scoreless after one, we'll return to Jacksonville after this message and a word from your local station. 85 yards of total offense for the Tigers, only 46.
for Nebraska. Spiller. Takes it right at the heart of Nebraska. First and ten at the 12-yard line of Nebraska. Harper on the pitch. Bouncing outside. Spiller. And is taken down after a pickup of one. If he doesn't Personal make it, it's a foul. touchdown. Defense number six. Horse collar tackle. Penalty will be half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. Comes in with a first and goal at the five-yard line of Nebraska. Under center goes Harper. Dylan Davis in the backfield, and they give the ball to Davis. Pushes his way to the four. No, Harvard, Nebraska. Not that Harvard. Davis goes in motion, sets up top of your screen. Second down goal. Harper pumps, looks, chased down of the pocket. In trouble, tries to turn the corner. Little push pass, and it's incomplete. Eighth play of this drive. Third down and goal. Just inside the five-yard line from the shotgun. Harper steps up, flags it down. Ball start on Landon Walker. Down goes right. Harper, but yeah, multiple flags are down. Prior to the snap, full start. Full start. Offensive left tackle. Five-yard penalty. Down remains three. Well, third down and goal. The penalty pushes Clemson back just inside the 10-yard line. Shotgun, Harper takes the snap. Two steps up, throws a dart far sideline. It's caught. Kelly pushes his way to the two-yard line. Great open field tackle by Murillo. And Mark Buckholtz. Blocked! The 20-yard attempt is knocked down. Navakin Sue, the young man from Portland, Oregon, born in the Cameroon. Matching Nebraska and Clemson, the Cornhuskers, at the 20-yard line. And from the shotgun is Gans. Pelu trying to bounce outside and has dropped for about a two-yard loss. Has prepared this team, this whole Clemson staff. Gans runs out of the pocket, tucks, and falls to the 23-yard line. The Clemson Tigers, 18 interceptions on the season. That's ninth best. On the shotgun is Gans. Incomplete at the 31 Ford, settling down at the 40-yard line. Wind behind his back, that's a line drive shot, Ford at the 39. Ford at the 50, breaks the tackle, and leans out to the 42-yard line. Again right now, starting at the Nebraska 41, with the exception of the one drive that started at the 10, Clemson's had a tremendous edge with field position all day. Harper steps up in the pocket, slings it out, oh, through the hands, Jacoby Ford. It made that ball hard to catch for Jacoby Ford. Two wide receivers, top of your screen, handed off, spinning. Davis. When you ask him to describe his running style, that's what he says. Hey, I go north and south, baby. That's it. Harper dancing. Chase. And then throws a wobbler into the Nebraska bench. Pockets where all the money is, isn't it? That's it. Exactly right. Oh. High snap and a bad kick. Maynard's off the side of its foot. But he's getting the big Clemson bounce inside the 15, still rolling down to the 12-yard line. To be stuck in a 0-0 game, you consider yourself pretty darn fortunate. On first down, Gantz throws, across the middle, and leaning out for those extra yards for a first down at the 24-yard line. Clock running up on nine minutes of play in the first half. Hand off, Castile. Bangs, you hear those pads popping? That goes 6-1, 235, lucky 215, and Helio 215. That ball is thrown away into the Clemson bench. And Gans just 5 of 12 for 55 yards passing. Shotgun on third down and short. Fires a strike incomplete and through the hands of Holt. He's back for his fifth punt of the day. The wind behind him. Gets it up and hangs it down to the 24-yard line and no return for Spiller. Of course, uh, the Gators under Billy Donovan's direction. Back-to-back -back national titles trying to rebuild that Gator program. And Clemson on first down. And 13 yards. Shotgun Clemson. Harper batted down. Incomplete. Tremendous influence on both of his sons and the whole family as well. Play clock is down to three. That ball is up high in the air. And Harper throws it. Low snap. Maynard kicks it away. Into the wind. High, high hanger. Oh, great special teams tackle. 
Stoops all found themselves uh, major players in college football. Yeah, all products of Cardinal Mooney High School in Youngstown. In this scoreless first half, and the 64th Gator Bowl, low snap taken by Gans. Little option, turns the corner, and Gans takes a hard shot down to the 34. You play clock down to two, down to one, just got the snap away. Gans on the rollout, sets up, throws, it's caught. And Swift somehow in traffic from Joe Gans. Play clock again, down to one. Quick pitch, that ball's loose, it's up. It's into the hands of McDaniel. Touchdown, Clemson. Makes Joe Gans pitch the ball, gets a hand on it, and then is athletic enough to pick that ball up and take it to the house. The speed of Clemson, again illustrated. Buckholz punches it up and through. 86 of 86 career point after attempts. And a moment ago, that ball is blocked down. It's fumbled, and DeAndre McDaniel scores the first touchdown of the Gator Bowl here in Jacksonville. Seven nothing Clemson over Nebraska. We'll be back on CBS. Buck Holtz. Boy, he drives this ball deep. Taking one yard deep is Niles Paul. Upended, still on his feet. Did he, his knee hit the ground? Yes, first and ten. And Nebraska with the football down by seven. And they're going to stay on the ground and nothing doing. Clemson and second down 11. Clock rolling up on four minutes to play in the first half. From the shotgun as Gans looks one way, fires the other, straight across the middle. And the catch is grabbed by Paul at the 30-yard line. But not quite there quick enough to make a difference. Nebraska 2 of 7 on third down conversions. They'll make that now 3 of 8 as the ball goes to Castile and he rips off big yards. Nebraska picks up their fifth down of this first half and the handoff again. Castile finds some running room, picks his way past midfield and they'll mark him down at the 46. It's going to be holding against offense the number 67. His center, yards Jacob penalty. Hickman. Replay first down. Castile has had success, most of the success right here on this drive. And the shotgun again, Gans fires a strike right on the numbers of Nate Swift. And Swift over the 40 deceptions for Nebraska with 163. He only needed 36 yards today to become the all-time yardage leader as well. He's on his way. Ball may have been deflected at the line of scrimmage. Gans sets up on the shotgun. Three-step drop, looking, looking, puts it down. Turns the corner. On his back foot, throws, cut! to get some kind of points on the board. A little bit of production going into halftime. Gann sets up and throws oh, far no. sideline incomplete. Until the final month of last season. And he's taken over from that point on. Castile on the pitch, out of bounds. Given Clemson a touchdown the last time they ran it. Shows you the consistency of Sean Watson. Pressure's on, ball is up for grabs. Gann's trying to grab it, and it falls incomplete. Alex Henry is in to try a 48-yard field goal on the season, 14 of 17, and Henry has leg, hit a 57-yard kick against Colorado, and hits it from 48. Adi Kunalik set the kick, big leg, no return, nearly got it out of the end zone. Good solid drive to end the half for him, but now over a minute left for Clemson to go down the field here with two timeouts. Harper, shotgun, ball batted down. Oh, picked off! That ball floated. Anthony West gives Nebraska a whole new life here late in the second quarter. Plenty of time left in the half. But, no, but remember, no timeouts remaining for Nebraska. From the shotgun, Gans quick throw. Oh! It's picked off! Butler! Can he go the distance out of bounds? And he's pushed out by Gans. Well, <laughs> and then jumping it 100% right on time. 59-yard return. Clemson. There's a pump. 
Harper, chase, toss down at the 30-yard line. That's Ndamukin Sue. Second down and 22. Colin Harper sets up. Once the deep ball goes up top, man, coverage. Oh, cut in the end zone, Aaron Kelly. To make that grab, super job by Aaron Kelly. Clark Colts keeps the streak alive, 87 consecutive point afters. And Aaron Kelly just became Clemson's all-time leader in receiving yards. And what a way to do it with a catch in the end zone. Up here in Jacksonville. Buck Holtz keeps it up at the 30-yard line. That ball hangs. Taken on the run at the 15-yard line. That's Niles Paul and driven down at the 24-yard line. To reset the chain of the clock stops, I mean, you never know. On no. a knee goes Gans. And Bo Pelini. To the locker room. That ends the first half with the score. Clemson 14, Nebraska 3. Coming up, Tim Brando, Spencer Tillman, and Tony Barnhart. We'll be back with the Geico Halftime Report after this message and a word from your local... <laughs> 64th Annual Gator Bowl. And Clemson with the lead of 14 to 3. Angles that kick to the corner, taken on the run at the 15-yard line. Coming around the corner. And out of bounds. One on the actual fumble recovery. The next one led to Aaron Kelly's big touchdown catch. On the option. Boy, Gantz sold it. For Gantz to overcome. And a pick up a two. Second down and eight. First minute of the third quarter. Play action. Gantz steps up. Goes man. Covers down. Field caught. Todd Peterson. Reed stop at 6-4. Smart throw by Gans. 10 of 22 now for Joe Gans. Shotgun first down, Nebraska. Quick flip, far side. Yes. Niles Paul. 57 possessions, 40 touchdowns for the Huskers on the season. And nothing going. That was just slow motion. And Nebraska, 4 of 10 on third down conversions. This will be third and 11. Clemson showing the blitz. Gans goes up top. Man, coverage. End zone. Touchdown, Swift! Incredible throw, an even better catch by Swift. About it, a great catch, throw and catch by Nate Swift and Joe Gans. And the extra point from Alex Henry. 55 of 56 on the season, and it's Gans. Right on the fingertips, pulled down by Nate Swift. His 10th touchdown of the season. And Nebraska on their first possession of the third quarter. There's always room for a guy that can make the big play, find the soft spot in the defense, have speed to hurt you when he gets the opportunity. Swift is one of those guys. Spiller. To start the third quarter. We'll see what Clemson has up their sleeve. Up by four. And keep it on the ground. The Spiller driven back. And now you see. And right there you can see what the what, what a quick score by the offense can do for a team. It can energize a team. This defense is coming hard right now. Harper um, able, able to unload under pressure. Stop and go is Spiller. And Nebraska. Dead ball. Illegal snap. Offense number 55. That's Bobby Hutchins. Five yard penalty. And Nebraska teed up. Third down at 17. Shotgun is Harper. Good protection. Pocket breaks down. Harper rolls. Sets up and fires. That ball nearly intercepted on the sideline. Incomplete. Which allowed him to come back despite his well, so called retirement. Another line drive. Kick up balls on the ground. Thompson! Covers up with the 45. If Clemson does come up with this football, and it, it, it appears that it's going to be that way. There you go, officially. You see. 10-22 to play. Tigers with the four-point lead. Hyper up top. Contact. Catch is still made. Flags are down. But what a grab by C.J. Spiller. Nebraska Pass and interference. Refuse for sure. Defense number five. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Wide receiver coach 
And then an assistant head coach named back in 07 under Tommy Bowden. Up top, man. Oh, right on the button. Touchdown, Jacoby Ford. Could not have thrown a better ball. Colin Harper. There was a moment there where Ford was even with both safeties. At the perfect time, and boy, was that well executed. Mark Colts splits the uprights. You know, Ford has that 10-2 speed. He goes the 60 meter and 6-5. And Dan, you're right. That's a totally different speed on the final 10 yards. 41-yard touchdown. Clemson up by 11. 10 minutes to play in the third quarter. Buck Colts. Strong leg. Back at the goal line. Niles Paul picks it up. 15. Finds a seam at the 20. Still on his feet and pushes the pile up to the 25. Important for Nebraska to answer, though. We saw them come out strong. Clemson answered. Nebraska's got to come back, and here's a big run to start it off. Castile 50. Castile 40. And rumbles to the 20-yard line. Out of bounds, and Nebraska indeed answers back. It's Nebraska back on the front porch, knocking on the door. First and 10 at the... 17-yard line, Castillo meets a wall of orange. Looks like Bo Pelini's going to ride the hot horse here. Castillo taken down and sliding through. A loss of two as Gann steps up in the pocket, looks, fires, caught! Touchdown, Todd Peterson! The Huskers answer back! Well, we've got ourselves a ball game here. You and myself, Dan. Extra points, splits the uprights. Fourth touchdown grab of the season for Peterson. And Gans now with his 25th toss for Nebraska. Yeah, and if it's not Swift, it's Peterson. The two seniors we talked about earlier. The big target over the middle. 75 yards, just over two minutes. And the Huskers. Close the gap back to four, 21-17. Spiller at the goal line, flags are down. This kid is quick as a cat, lost his shoe, and goes out of bounds at the 37. During the return, holding, number 10 of the return team. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul, first down. It appears that Nebraska's gonna make Clemson play a little bit of offense this second half. They're trying to get it rolling on both sides of the ball here. Davis stacked up and dropped for a loss. A loss of three, second down and 13. Harper, quick throw, far side, it's up the grab. Intercepted Nebraska! Steinkuhler with the big play! And caused that ball to be bounced in the air. Nebraska, back at it as Castile. They're going to challenge themselves to keep Nebraska out of the end zone. Castile the lone black. In motion is Niles Paul. Oh, that goes down. And Gans is able to cover up. There he goes stepping on the center. Play clock down to two. Just got it off with one to spare. Gans pumps, fires, up top. And over the outstretched hand of Todd Peterson. But the bottom line is when you got a six foot four receiver, you want to give him a chance to go up for that football, especially when the defensive back is not even looking for the ball. Alex Henry from 28 yards, and it's up and good. Henry hit from 48 in the second quarter and connects from 28. Clemson 21, Nebraska 20 at the Gator Bowl in Jacksonville. Hardy Canalek set to kick from the 30-yard line. Back to receive is C.J. Spiller. Line drive, and Spiller backpedals nearly to the back line of the end zone, takes a knee, and... Two of those touchdowns scored off Nebraska miscues. From the shotgun, Harper, handoff up the middle. Deal shifts back. Clock running. Up the middle. And Spiller able to break a tackle. And Harper, shotgun. In motion is Aaron Kelly. Sets, high snap. Harper takes it down, throws a swing pass. Outside and a rare drop. Spiller. Through his hands, his face here in the third quarter. Blocked! It took the Clemson bounce, but not much up to the 31-yard line. 
Ricky Tenars struggled to slow down and prevent the block from happening. And that play is proof while Tenars was a special teams MVP in 06 07. Oh, what a grab! In traffic. How did McNeil, the tight end, and stepping up, avoiding the sack there, and then the left handed, one handed stab by McNeil. And a tremendous catch by Mike McNeil. Huskers looking to take the lead. Back on the ground they go. Castile stacked up, driven back. Clock coming up on two and a half minutes to play. We'll try Castile again, and just inside the tackle. Third down and five, Clemson fans on their feet. Tigers showing blitz, Gann slow to slam and complete. Nate Swift, you give up seven, you're gonna have to settle for three again. Alex Henry set for a 28 yard field goal to put Nebraska on top. Henry from 48, Henry from 28, and Henry gets another 28 yarder and Nebraska leads Clemson by two. He is completed with a couple of touchdown passes. Spiller will get a chance to return from the three yard line. Right up the middle he goes, breaks a tackle, stacked up and dropped at the 31 yard line. The call. Dead ball, personal, personal foul. foul. Number 24 of the kicking team. 15 yard penalty, first down. Second half here. Dab Dabo's got to be fired up. Dabo Sweeney that his team is only down two points right now. Harper in trouble. Takes his seat. He's going to make it pay the price most of the time. Under a minute to play in the third quarter. Clemson with the ball. Throws it out to the flat. It's caught. Spiller turns on the Jets and is bumped out of bounds. Nine-man rush. Swing it. A little seam and the hit is the Grisham. And how about that ends the third quarter here in Jacksonville, Nebraska 23, Clemson 21. And we'll come back to Jacksonville after this message and a word from your local station. You're watching the Konica Minolta Gator Bowl on CBS. 31 yard line. Good high hanger. That ball is taken to the 12 yard line by Swift. Here he comes near side, cuts it back up the middle, flags are down, and Swift is driven out of bounds at the 39-yard line. During the return, illegal block in the back on the return team. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul, first down. Marlon Lucky, number five, has joined Nebraska's backfield. Shotgun is Gans with a shovel pass. Lucky stops and goes, stacked up, Clemson not fooled. No gain, second down at 10 from the 10-yard line. Fourth quarter here in Jacksonville. Nebraska with the ball up by two. Gans fires a strike. Ah! Over the middle. Tough catch. Peterson in traffic. And handoff Castile. And a two-yard loss is play clock to one. Just got the snap away as Gans sets up all day to throw. Now push down in the pocket. Gans dumps it off on the run, and he finds Lucky. And Lucky got pulled down, land on that shoulder down, but that head did look like it bounced off the turf pretty hard. You get a chance to see. He takes over with Nebraska on top by two. So Witt stands up, pumps. Now he's going to tuck and run. And Ooh. takes a hit. Lost the handle. It's on the ground. Picked up. Clemson rumbling into the end zone. Byron Maxwell touchdown. This might be worth reviewing. A lot of the Pac-10 conference. And Dan, this angle, the backside angle shows knee down, ball out. Yep. And it's a bang bang play. Where does he lose control of that football? Can I think the right knee's down before the left. The right knee yeah, was the it, first one yeah, down. And he does that have control. It's Courtney Brown making two plays in a row. First of all, knocking. Uh, Joe Gans out of the game. A quarterback. After review, the runner was down prior to losing possession of the ball. The ball will be returned to Nebraska, fourth and three at the 31 yard line. The 30. Good snap. Good punt. Hangs it up. Spiller pedals back at the 23. Spiller at the 30, 35. Breaks the tackle to the 40. And squirts his way up to the 43 yard line. Was Bill Parcells a magician or what? Taking over the offense in line. Ford 
Stephon's out of bounds at midfield. Even though he could go right to the NFL right now, but he wants to get better under the tutelage of Cole and Carl Polini. Benson sets up the screen. Spiller goes to the sideline, steps out of bounds. A late push, and now a flag comes out late. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct. Offense number 23. 15-yard penalty. It'll be third down. Exactly right. Third down, 24 for the Tigers. Pedaling back, Colin Harper goes deep, up top, near side. Incomplete. And he wanted Jacoby Ford, the sprinter, to 52. They have control of this game right now, too. Line drive, May Swift. Breaks the tackle, stumbles up past the 35-yard line. Well, Nebraska with a two-point lead. Back on the field at the 36-yard line, and Gans is under center. Castillo, the ball carrier, and nothing doing. Stacked up and driven back. Second down and three, four wide receiver set. As Gans takes the shotgun up and over, that ball is caught. And it's going to be whistled out of bounds. Niles Paul. They cause problem. They make the quarterback move around, and that's just as good. Gans steps up in the pocket, dumps it underneath. Castillo breaks a tackle, has running room at midfield, spins out of a tackle and inside Clemson territory at the 48. And a gain of 20 yards, first down for the Huskers at the Clemson 48-yard line. Play fake, tough catch by the tight end. McNeil put out both hands and five. He puts Peterson in motion. Gans under center. Tucks has room. Heads to the middle sideline and runs out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Big one here, none bigger than this one today, especially for Clemson. Shotgun Gans. That's the end fly by. Oh, batted down. No, incomplete. And it was Cavell Connor. Kobe Ford awaits. High, high hanger. A little pooch kick. Oh, takes a kick back. That looked like a pitching wedge. Took a, a great turn back at the 15 yard line. And the 64th Gator Bowl. Clemson down by two with the football. Piper on the rollout, chasing and pushed out of bounds at the 15. A loss of one, second down and 11. Harper, quick throw, quick slant, and a quick catch. Aaron Kelly reaches out, fourth grab for 46 yards. Third down and four, Clemson. And the slant falls incomplete off the hands of Kelly. And Kelly, he was open, just did not make a good throw. Mainers. Big kick at the 35-yard line is Swift. Stop and goes. Slides at the 40. Still on his feet. And tackled down at the 46-yard line. The football against Nebraska. Movement. Flags. Good ball. Offside. Five-yard penalty. Still first half. He's in the shotgun at midfield. Castile takes the ball, spins out of a tackle on his feet at the 40. Watch out. Castile at the 25, 20. Castile at the 10, 5. And out of bounds. They will mark Castile out at the 9-yard line. But Quentin Castile is a big dude, and he's not going to go down unless you take him down. All of the 121 yards, all since the second quarter. Pushing the pile inside the five-yard line. Second down and goal. As the clock runs up on six minutes of play, Castile, the ball carrier, stacked up, driven back. He'll lose a yard. Back to the six-yard line. Daquan Bowers right there, big number 93. Gans pedals back, pumps, goes to the end zone up top. And through the hands of the tight end, Mike McNeil. Pass intended for McNeil. Defense once again has done their job, holding to a field goal. You've got to step up at some point and make some plays, score a touchdown. Alex Henry punches in his fourth field goal of the afternoon. And Nebraska opens up a five-point lead on Clemson. Roddy Kanalik at the 30. Strong legs it. High, high floater. Wynn's going to push that ball down at the 12-yard line. Spiller oh, took a hit at the 22-yard line. 5-13 to play. Clemson with the ball. Two timeouts remaining. The pitch, Davis. And the power back squares up those pads. He can stay with his regular offense, but there's got to be a sense of urgency out there now for the... 
Tiger offense. Clock under five to play. Had that, nothing doing. Davis is dropped for a loss. Back at the 25-yard line. Clemson 0 for 9 on their last third down conversion. They're looking at third down and 8. Clock running, 4-10. To the near sideline, it's caught out of bounds. That stops the clock. Aaron Kelly with a big grab. And what you think? Personal foul. Defense number 33. 15-yard penalty from the end of the play. First down. The four minutes to play at the 49-yard line of Nebraska. Clemson down by five. Davis trying to be patient, wait for a little hole to open behind his big front line. Second down and six. Under center is Harper. Play action pass. Good protection. Dancing, dancing, looking for help. Spins. In trouble. Throws it away. And incomplete up alongside the... An unbelievable effort by Tyler Grisham, though, but I think that that... That elbow and everything hits out of bounds. I don't think that ball was clearly in his possession. Third down and six. Whistles are going to stop the play. There are stripes on the ball. The ruling on the field was confirmed. And that, that's third down and six. Clemson trying to come back from five down into pocket. Harper flushed out, tucks and runs, and is tripped up. So after the timeout, shotgun formation, Cullen Harper. Two wide receivers, bottom of your screen. Harper sets up, throws, hits Ford, breaks a tackle inside the 30, and is thrown down by O'Hanlon. 2.05 to play. Once again, Harper from the shotgun. Two-step drop, throws up top, got a man right over 10-yard line. And it's the big man, Aaron Kelly. 6-5, and back-to-back -back completions of 16 and 17 yards. Under two minutes to play, first and goal, Clemson. Harper throws, got it down, incomplete. Harper steps back in shotgun. Play clock to six, the snap's away. Pressure, Harper's in trouble. In trouble and down at the 27-yard line. Hag again. This time coming from the front, Colin Harper had to see him the whole time. Got to get rid of that ball, you can't take the... Clemson use their final timeout. Harper, shotgun. Good protection. Pedals back up over the middle. Incomplete. Spiller had it, but two Huskers were hanging on his back. Clemson has no timeouts. The play clock's running down. They're totally disorganized. At four, at three, what could be the final play? Over the middle, incomplete, and Nebraska holds off Clemson. Jacoby Ford was the intended receiver, and Dan, you're right. Let him get those paws on him. Now we got too many men on the field for Clemson. Come under uh, uh, with, with great comeback and possession on their Davos. Both of these schools have the right man in control. I think both these schools, these programs, have a very promising future. Nebraska, a chance to hold on and win this game. And the final snap. Gans is going to take that football. I don't blame him. The senior closes out his Nebraska career with a 26-21 Gator to Bowl win over Clemson. For Steve Burline, Dan Fouts, Craig Bowler, Jack saying so long from Jacksonville. Our final score, 26-21 Nebraska.